Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to The Godfather Part 2, which came out in 1974. Uh, we did react to The Godfather, um, so if you haven't seen it, uh, the link is in the description below. Uh, this does star Al Pacino, uh, Robert De Niro, two of the greats, um, and is directed by the same director, so Francis Ford Coppola. Um, this is a car it's a continuation, I'm assuming, of the story. I was gonna I was gonna say, let's start off by like we obviously do TV show reactions on this. And <laughs> we normally do um so recap, but um yeah. probably where to do it in a movie. Um if it's a com if it's a complete continuation from the first one, then I'm, I'm assuming we're starting off where we left off. Michael closes the door to Kay and he takes yeah. his place as the Don essentially. Um, yeah. taking over from Vito. Um, I think they've moved as well because they were talking about moving to Nevada in the first one. They're settling up, selling the olive oil business and moving to Nevada, um, which I'm assuming they'd, they've done in this one. Mm. Um, oh yeah, because they had that yeah, meeting yeah. with Mo Green, didn't they? Yeah, about about buying, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Um, so let's see if, if that's happened. Uh, don't know else about much else about this movie, but it was so highly requested that we were going to react to yeah. it like a few months down the line yeah. but we pushed it back up because it's um it was that highly requested that like some people said it's even better than the first one so we were like yeah. okay we have to check this out now um so let's see what the movie holds the godfather part two let's check it out it still looks super young as well so this is the end of the First one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, when they when they call him Don. Expressionless. The Godfather was born Vito Andolini in the town of Corleone in Sicily. In 1901, his father was murdered for an insult to the local mafia chieftain. Damn. What? His older brother Paolo swore revenge and disappeared into the hills, leaving Vito, the only male heir, to stand with his mother at the funeral. His name is so Vito Andolini. His, his name is Vito Andolini. Yeah. I'm assuming that's... That's him. Yeah, that's Vito and his mum. At their dad's funeral. Okay. Oh, shit. Who's shooting at who? Yeah. Oh, oh shit. no. That's so oh, messed up. My it's God. two deaths. Yeah. Husband and a son, a kid. He killed a kid. I'm assuming it's the the local mafia boss was in, yeah responsible for this. Killed a kid. Don Ciccio. Okay, run. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> this is so messed up. Vito's... It's the beginning of the movie. Yeah, He's what... on the run, basically. Okay. So that's how he comes to America. Mm. Basically, has no family. Like... What is your name? Vito Andolini from Corleone. Corleone. Vito Corleone. Uh, oh my god. Now, oh my god. He got his name from the guy just saying Vito Corleone instead of Vito Andolini. Yeah. That must be so messed up to feel, to be in that position. You come here all on your own, you're like a little kid, quarantined for th three months. More than that, your yeah. family's dead. Yeah. Vita Corleone, Ellis Island, 1901. His grandson, Anthony Vita Corleone, Lake Tahoe, Nevada, 1958. So, Michael's Ma son? Michael's kid, yeah. Yeah. After one week, 
Look how glamorous she looks. Oh, she's completely changed from the first movie. Mm -hmm. Obviously, she's found herself a new yes, fella. Michael, I gotta talk to him and get a few things straight, and I can't wait online. You go see your children first, and then you worry about waiting online to see your brother, like everybody else. Damn. Would you please welcome Senator Pat Geary of the state of Nevada, and there is Mrs. Geary. We help celebrate young man's first communion. And also to thank that boy's family for a magnificent contribution to the state. Mm-hmm. Someone, someone's in someone's pocket, basically. I want you to join with me in giving a real Nevada thank you for this tremendous Michael. Wow. A little jump, but not too much of a jump in terms of a, you know, time. Yeah. I don't know if Michael cares about this portion of it. It just, doesn't, uh, it just, doesn't feel just, like it, does it? He just cares yeah. the business side of things. My lawyer, Tom Hagen, Hey, Tom! Carly Island family has done very well here in Nevada. You own or you control two major hotels in Vegas. One in Reno. You plan to make a move against the Tropical? Within a week, you're going to move Clingman out. That's quite an expansion. The license will still be in Klingman's name. The price is $250,000, plus a monthly payment of 5% of the gross of all four hotels, Mr. Wow. Orleone. The price for the license is less than $20,000, am I right? That's right. Now, why would I ever consider paying more than that? Because I intend to squeeze you. Well, this guy's not going to live long. I don't like to see you come out to this clean country in your oily hair. You're trying to pass yourselves off as decent Americans. Yeah, this guy's just talking himself into an early grave. I want you answering the money by noon tomorrow. And one more thing. Don't you contact me again, ever. Is he going to have a horse head in his, in his bed tomorrow morning? <laughs> My offer is this. Nothing. Not even the fee for the gaming license. Which I would appreciate if you would put up personally. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. That's called a reverse Uno, Senator. He obviously just, that's why obviously Michael brought him down to be like, look, let's have a chat. And he's just like, F you. Well, 250 grand for a 20 grand fee. <laughs> Plus 5% on uh, top of that. I don't know what he thought it was going to happen. Oh my god, look at Fredo. That is a mad blazer. What do I gotta do? Do I have to get a letter of introduction to get a sit down? You, you can't get in to see Mike? He's got me waiting in the lobby! He's a busy man. What's this? It's an orange from Miami. Tom isn't gonna sit in with us, Johnny. He only handles specific areas of the family business. Tom? Sure, Mike. Okay. Didn't think that was gonna happen. I just left uh, Mr. Roth in Miami. How's his health? Nah, it's not good. The casino you're interested in. Maya Klingman runs a store. He owns a piece of it, too. He does all right. But I've been instructed to tell you that if you move Klingman out, our friend in Miami will go along. So this ties in with what he was talking about to the senator about that hotel. Mm-hmm. Hyman Roth always makes money for his partners. His partners? So what does Hyman Roth do? You met Merrill. He was with me in Vegas. We're going to Europe next week. I'd like to book passage on the Queen. So what do you come to me for? Why don't you go to a travel agent? We're getting married first. Ooh. Okay. The ink on your divorce isn't dry yet and you're getting married? Divorce? You fly around the world with men who don't care for you and use you like a whore? You're not my Damn, friend. Mike! Money. Of course you do. And he doesn't have any. And why don't you tell him marriage is out of the question and you don't want to see him anymore? Well, you don't want to get Ooh. involved, bro. And isn't that Freda's wife? Oh, ho, ho, ho. why is Freda just standing there on his own? One thing, you're falling all over the floor. Oh, I don't want 
doesn't matter. It's you. You're just jealous because he's a real man. Oh. I got you, and I'm gonna belt you right in the teeth. Oh, you couldn't belt your mom. Whoa. <laughs> Michael says that if you can't take care of this, I have to. What does that mean? Rocco didn't give a shit, he just pulled her away, just like... Yeah, well, he me. has to do whatever Michael says. Clemenza promised the Rosado brothers three territories in the Bronx after he died. You took over, and you didn't give it to Clemenza promised them nothing. He hated those son of a bitches more than I did. Ancora pote il nome de Corleone. E tu sempre devi di rispettare i cosi di famiglia. Avonili me, e non mangio ca, e non mangio il Miami! Con Hyman Roth. I need to meet this Hyman Roth. Your father did business with Hyman Roth. Your father respected Hyman Roth. But your father never trusted Hyman Roth. Or his Sicilian messenger boy, Johnny Ola. And I want everybody here to know, there's not going to be no trouble for me. Don Corleone. Teach. Abort. He says it. He says it like, <laughs> he says it like really loudly as well. <laughs> like, I'm pissed off, but you, you're not going to have any problems for me. Uh. Does it feel like a boy? Yes. Yes, it does, Michael. Oh, she's pregnant again. Hmm. In five years, the Corleone family will be completely legitimate. That was seven years ago. Okay. <laughs> so we know the time jump. <laughs> I know. I'm trying, darling. Well, he's trying to get into, like, I'm assuming completely into hotels. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh shit. K K K K K K K K What the f I thought this place was a fortress. I thought see I thought we had security. Yeah that's what I thought. Hmm. Alive! God damn. Stay by the door. I always forget every time how like Al Pacino's lungs. Yeah. Man, man can shout. It's such a messed up life for Kay. Yeah, oh yeah. It's because I admire you and I love you. But I kept things secret from you. Fredo, no, he's got a good heart, but he's weak. I mean, I, I don't doubt that. It's, they practically grew up together, right? Yeah, well, him and Sonny, I think. True. You can take over. You're going to be the down. Huh? Oh, what? If what I think has happened has happened, I'm going to leave here tonight. I give you complete power, Tom. Over Fredo and his men, Rocco, Neri, everyone. Doesn't he need witnesses for this? I'm trusting you with the lives of my wife. And my children, the future of this family. Oh, he's going away on his well, own. Yeah. And if we catch these guys, do you think we'll be able to find out who's back away? That's going to catch them. Unless I'm very wrong, they're dead already. How'd you know? Somebody close to us. He's starting to doubt people now. But I blame him. Yeah. One thing I learned from Pop was to try to think as people around you think. On that basis, anything's possible. Is that Fredo's wife? Mm hmm. I don't recognize him. We won't get anything out of him now. So he was right. They're already dead. So he thinks there's someone close to him, basically. Hired these guys, probably. Watch go, uh, the job goes south, kill them. So they can't say anything. Yeah. Can't be traced back yeah. to you, kind of thing. It'd be hilarious if it's Connie. Can you imagine? <laughs> you wouldn't let me marry the guy that I wanted to, so I'm going to kill you. Poor kids. On a day where he was taking his communion as well. I'm going to be leaving very early tomorrow. Will you take me? No, I can't. I have to do business. I could help you. Ah. Hey, it's De Niro. Vita Corleone in New York City, 1917. Um, 
God, it's such a young De Niro. Yeah. yeah. So he's obviously he's married. Got a kid. This is kid. So this is Sunny. No idea. So was Sunny the oldest? I I think he was. And then it's got to be Sunny. Hey, Vito, then about what you do here? A bed. My God, it's so crazy seeing him this young. Mid oh, who's this guy? So Don, clearly. Yeah, no, no, he's in like. I must be pretty scary because he he was like shit. <laughs> Who called a bum? The black hand. The black hand. Damn. Oh, he's hustling people out of their mm. money. He mm. can't be that big of a guy if he's doing. This kind of stuff yeah. by himself. Like I would have thought he would have delegated it to yeah. people below him. Shit, so this guy's proper obviously scared of him. I mean So he must must be big in a certain way. But not big enough that he still has to do stuff by himself. As yeah, in like the yeah. He's feared more extortion, than anything, but... the extortion by himself. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's so close. <laughs> that is so random. Who's, who is that guy? Don't know. And what is he giving you to hide? And what if it's illegal? There better not be a head in a bag. <laughs> You'd see the blood. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he put it straight in the bathtub. <laughs> it's guns. Don Fanucci. <laughs> Okay. So what, he's going to start beating people up? I find it funny if he's called a black hand, but he's always he's wearing a white suit. He's always wearing a white suit. I always find it funny when they do stuff like that. You can't pay, so they want double. Dude, they can't pay yeah. in the first place. How are they going to pay you double? <laughs> Um, basically, give me the money and then you just starve. Poor guy. Fanucci. That one on the boot. Oh, that's messed oh, up. That's messed up. That's nice of Vita, man. Oh, man. He feel, look how bad he feels. Like obviously, yeah. he's being bullied into it, right? He's such a this is such. They're showing him as such a humble character. Like he's mm. just probably realizes that like, dude, you got to pay that guy, and you're giving me some yeah. of your produce. <laughs> Oh my god, that's Clemenza. <laughs> Hang on, so Clemenza was his next door neighbor that threw in the guns. That's jokes. That's jokes. Okay. I mean... As a favor for holding the guns, I'll give you a rug. Fair enough. Yeah, why not? That's... I like this this little music, the music that they... it feels like it's going to be like the adventures of Vito and Clemenza and <laughs> coming up. <laughs> okay. Something tells me this isn't this friend's they, house. <laughs> they are robbing this place. <laughs> They're robbing. He's basically robbing a rug from someone. Giving you Dave as a present. <laughs> that was brilliant. 
You're going to help me steal the rug that I'm going to give to you as thanks for keeping my guns. Oh my god. That looks like the silhouette of a cop. Yeah, with the hat in it. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's not really my friend's place. <laughs> Um, I like how Michael's driving here and the other guy's just sitting in the back. And I thought it'd be like... the other way around. Yeah, so he's gone to Miami to Hyman see Roth. Hyman Roth. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Roth. Come on, Michael. <clears throat> Sit down. Mm, older than I thought. Yeah. Would be. Well, as in he be... didn't know his dad, so that makes sense. Okay, yeah. Frank Pantangeli came to my home and he asked my permission to get rid of the risotto girls. When I refused, he tried to have me killed. He was stupid. I was lucky. I'll visit him soon. It was Frank. Oh, right. Okay. I, you know what? He's the last person I thought. I thought he was being respectful. I thought he was pissed off, but being respectful. Yeah, I didn't think of that. But we will do it together in the next few months. We'll make history. The hotels? Tim Pantangeli is a dead man. You don't know, Jack? He's small potatoes. Do you think he just... Okay, I don't know. This is, this is me being, I don't know, overthinking stuff again. Do you think he just threw Frank's name in there? I don't know. I think he lied to Hyman. Really? I don't know. I'm just... Michael is a very cunning character. Is this his old house? I want you to help me take my revenge. Oh, like anything. You're right. Settle these troubles with the Rosano brothers. Mike, I don't understand. I don't... It was Hyman Roth that tried to have me killed. Oh, fuck, I knew oh, it. Oh, right. I knew it. That's why. Right. I know what was him. Let's hit them all now while we got the muscle. Michael wants to be like a wolf in sheep's clothing. He doesn't want to... Yeah. This used to be my father's old study. Yeah, this was his old house, yeah. Mm. My father taught me many things here. He taught me, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is where it came from. That's brilliant. I want him completely relaxed and confident in our friendship. Then I'll be able to find out who the traitor in my family was. It makes sense. It makes sense. Anything you got me in deep enough already. So it was Fredo, or was he giving them information? He's it's not, I don't think he had him killed because that'd be that'd be too stupid for Fredo. He's stupid, yeah. but you don't think he's that stupid. But he's obviously been giving them information about the gang and everything about yeah. the, the organization. Wait in the car, Chich. Frankie. It's okay, Chich. I really hope Frank is okay in this meeting. It's a lucky casino for our new deal. <laughs> that's a weird. That's a weird thing to do. Does that mean anything? I don't know. I don't like the casino, Rosado. I take that as an insult. Michael Cook. Oh says shit! Hello. What is going on? I'm so good. Eddie Bridge, stock it. Are you open or closed? Something on the floor? Carmine, no, no, not here, not here! Anthony! Not here, Carmine! Oh, oh my god, what a shambles! This is completely. Is he dead? He's still alive, though. See, but that's messed up now because he, he thinks. Oh my Michael's god, gonna... look at all of this! I thought I could help you, Senator. Oh, look what who's in heck? trouble! Have you got a horse in your uh, bed? <laughs> I passed out. He's he's killed someone. Oh, oh, oh my shit. god! Black I reckon they framed him. I reckon they framed him here. Yeah, look. <laughs> look. Oh, god. That's Al. They framed him. They drugged him. Put him on the floor. Killed someone, and was like, "Look, this my brother owns the place. We'll help you if you help us." 
You'll have to remember, just do as I say. They're putting a call yeah, into your office. Explain. He is fully in their pocket oh. now. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Mrs. Corleone, we're not to let you through. I'm just going to the market. Well, if you just give us a list, we'll pick up anything you want. Okay, these are troubling times. You're pregnant. Stay in the house. Am I a prisoner? Is that it? It's not the way we look at it, Kay. All right. Come on, kids. We're going back to the house. It's not much. It is a messed up lifestyle, but yeah. it is you could. Yeah, there's not a lot you can do. Yeah, yeah. I want to thank this distinguished group of American industrialists for continuing to work with Cuba. It's just massive corporations that have. Are they investing in Cuba, basically? Mm -hmm. Representing our associates in tourism and leisure activities. Tourism and leisure. Mr. Hyman Rose, Senor Hyman Rose. I would like to take this opportunity well, to... And he did the ending to that. What does Hyman Roth do? For their lovely Christmas gift. Solid gold telephone. What? Telephone Who gold. are you going to phone on that, Batman? <laughs> Perhaps you would discuss the status of rebel activity. I love how they're passing it around as well. It's like, oh yeah, it's it's got some weight to it. Of course it's got weight to it. Heavy stuff. It's pure gold. <laughs> My staff indicates with assurance that we'll drive them out of the city of uh, Santa Clara before the new year. I want to put you all at ease. Like how um, Hyman and Heads, yeah. uh, Michael just... Oof. It's a rebel. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my god. Wow, that was messed up. <laughs> that was proper messed up. We can thank our friends in the Cuban government. We just put up half of the cash with the Teamsters on a dollar for dollar basis as relaxed restrictions on imports. That's what I was going to ask. The first thing I thought of there's going to be relaxed restrictions. Yeah. There's better yeah. to do like business Real partnership here. Partnership with the government. Smaller piece. Mark's cake, bro. At the time of my retirement or death, I turn over all my interest in the Havana operation to his control. Okay. Wow. That's a... All of you will share. So he's just splitting up his empire. Mm-hmm. A rebel was being arrested by the military police. And rather than be taken alive, he exploded a grenade he had hidden in his jacket. Yeah, that was crazy. Soldiers are paid to fight. The rebels aren't. What does that tell you? They can win. This country has had rebels for the last 50 years. It's in their blood. The two million never got to the island. You held back the money. Because you had second thoughts about the rebels. Oh, okay. So he didn't invest, essentially. Just one small step, looking for a man that wants to be president of the United States, and having the cash to make it possible. That's crazy. So he basically didn't give the money. That's what he was saying. That's what it seems like, yeah. Yeah. Because the rebels shook him. Yeah. Yeah. If someone's willing to fight without you having to pay him. Oh, calm down, Frito. Jesus. <laughs> uh, they're more dangerous. Yeah. The whole time I'm thinking, what if somebody knows what I got in here? Can you imagine that? He's huh? got the money, $10 hasn't he? In the seat next to me in the plane. Yeah. That's why he was like not giving it to that guy. The family's making an investment in Havana. This is a little gift for the president. Two million dollars is a gift. Anybody I know in Havana? I don't know. I'm in Roth. Johnny Ola. Do you think Michael knows? No. no I never met them. Jesus. And, uh... Fredo, what are you doing? Senator Geary is flying in from Washington tomorrow night with some people, some government people. I want you to show them a good time in Havana. Later on in the evening, we're all invited to the presidential palace for reception to bring in the new year. After it's over, and you take me home in a military car alone. Before I reach my hotel, I'll be assassinated. Whoa. He's giving him... Is he giving him information to see if it gets leaked? It was Roth that tried to kill me in my home. He acts like I'm his son, his successor. But he thinks he's gonna live forever. Watch me out. I'm in Roth. I'll never see the new year. Oh, shh. 
He is gonna kill him. Fredo's part of the move, let's let's be honest. He just doesn't know he is. Who had Frank Pantangeli killed? The Rosado brothers. I know. God, you can't even make eye contact. There was this kid I grew up with. Worked our way out of the street. Things were good. I loved him and trusted her. That kid's name was Mo Green. And the city he invented was Las Vegas. Oh, damn. But Michael had him killed. Someone put a bullet through his eye. No one knows who gave the order. I said to myself, this is the business we've chosen. What I sh didn't ask. <laughs> it was a, a long-winded way of saying, I, you killed one of mine, I killed one of yours. Yeah. When I wake, if the money's on the table, I'll know I have a partner. If it isn't, I'll know I don't. That's an ultimatum. Uh-huh. This is Andy Geary, you know him. Oh, I'm so good to see you, Mike. You changed your turn, haven't you? You don't know my brother Fredo, do you, Johnny? Johnny Ola? Fredo. We never met. Johnny Ola. Pleasure. You lying that must bastards. That so awkward, isn't it? Watch. You're not going to believe this. Don't believe it all. Right. Huh? Right, $50, right? Okay, <laughs> what is going on here? Where did you find this place? Johnny Ola told me about this place. He brought me here. I didn't believe it, but oh, seeing this place. Oh, you are. Look at Michael's face. Dum dum. Old man Roth had never come here, but old Johnny knows these places like the back of his hand. You just confirmed that it is you that betrayed your brother. Look you wanna, at Michael's face. You know, earlier when I said he's a dumb guy, he's dumb. He's dumb. Michael, he's so you, get, I, I, you know what? He's expressionless face, but you can tell he's yeah. fuming that inside. That rage. Yeah, yeah, that rage. Look at the disappointment. Well. Oh, did you hear that click? Who's next? Hyman. Oh, shit. He can't do anything here. I, you know, I was thinking, he might not need to. He looks like he's deteriorating really. Hang on his own accord, yeah. Yeah, really, really fast. Can't exactly kill him with flowers. <laughs> I mean, he probably could. If he was creative it, enough, but... It's, it's more of a... Um, a distraction as to why he could be visiting a patient. Although death by whacking him with flowers sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty bastard. Who the hell are those guys? They're all military, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is perfect. The nurses and the doctors go away to celebrate the new year. Room's empty. Go in. Kill him in his sleep. Mm -hmm. Punch him with some flowers. Oh okay. no! Shit! Oh shit! Well, well, he's dead. Yeah, that went so that failed <laughs> very badly. There's a plane waiting for us to take us to Miami in an hour. Oh no, thing. Michael's. Is he gonna say it here? I know it was you, Fredo. Oh, oh man. You broke my heart. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Michael's in trouble though. Because that guy's dead. Yeah. That yeah, yeah. Roth um yeah, Roth isn't, but they're they're gonna know that that's Michael's guy. Well, I think that's why he planned it, so he'd get out of there. But Michael thinks he's won here. Yeah, that's also true. Renuncio. Para evitar más derramamiento de sangre y salgo de la ciudad inmediatamente. Damn. Oh shit. Who takes over from him then? I I don't know. That could get in bed with these guys. I mean. Salud. Salud. He basically just said everyone Viva the revolution. So, yeah. so it's the revolution. The rebels, the rebels won. won. I love how he was just like, I'm leaving 
do what you make of it. And look at this guy. Fredo, what have you done? Roth is dead. Fredo. Fredo, come with me. You're still my brother. Fredo. What an idiot. Obviously scared of Michael, who thinks he's going to die and they might push him out of the plane. He has no him. reason not to be scared of Michael. You see yeah. it to him to do it to uh, plenty of other people, I'm assuming. That trip to Cuba went badly. Yep. What about my boy? Did you get him something for Christmas? Oh, well, it's a little uh, car with an electric motor that they can ride in. It's nice. Where's my brother? Uh, Roth got out in a private boat. He's in the hospital in Miami. Uh, stroke and recovered okay. Okay. I asked about Fredo. Damn, I didn't know Roth made a full, full recovery. He had a stroke as well, that's mad. Mm. I know he's scared. Tell him everything's all right, tell him. I know Roth must let him, but he didn't know they were going to try to kill me. Kay had a miscarriage, he lost the baby. Oh, oh. man. So messed up. Was it a boy? Mikey, after three and a half months. Now, can't you give me a straight answer anymore? Was it a boy? Does that matter? Like, does it even... He needs to go see her. Uh, oh, my oh God, God he scared guy. the shit out of me. He just came in like the Grinch. <laughs> yeah, 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 we know. Okay, so they're making good money. Mm. Slap him. Oh, you can't slap him. I love Sorry, that. He's it's like, give me the money or I'm going to send the cops <laughs> to your house. What a dick. Gabish Baisano. You know what I love? Every time he speaks, he actually speaks like how Marlon Brando spoke in the first movie. Mm -hmm. Like very soft. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's Tessio. Tessio! Oh, there's someone above him. Oh, so he's like a low, low, yeah. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. <laughs> Is he, that's how young when he started doing it. No, it's the opposite. It's not, I'm going to make him an offer I, that he can't refuse kind of thing. It's, I'm going to do you guys a favour, so do me a favour back and I'll get him to do whatever. Ah. Uh. Also, I was going to say his Italian is brilliant. Uh, Robert De Niro's Italian. This is mm. brilliant. It's so messed up that Tessio like was there doing business with him, and he betrayed him in the first like, like down the line. See. Well done. I just realised Clemenza's <laughs> after the first time we meet, met him. Clemenza's always eating. <laughs> yeah. Explains why it probably was the way it was <laughs> yeah. in this. Work your magic, Vito. Okay, he didn't really. He didn't. Yeah, he didn't offer him anything. He just. Someone said in the comment section on the first Godfather that um, whenever there's an orange in the scene, this like represents like death in some sort oh, of really? way. Yeah, he's taking our money and pinning it against their right? <laughs> Everyone's just... Yeah, it's their it's money the anyway. Same... Yeah, exactly. I don't get what he's doing. He's just following him. But why? Why is he doing that? What the hell is that? It's a gun. That was his plan. To kill him. I think so. No other reason he'd be doing that. 
Is he, does he, he think that towel's going to be a silencer? I know. I, that's what I was thinking. He's wrapping it up. Yeah. That's the offer. That's the towel. offer. That's the offer he can't refuse. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, he was going to do it anyway. I mean, he's dead, right? Now he is. Oh. Oh my god, that was his plan all along. I mean, so what, it's a great plan. Would that mean he'd take his place? Does the person who's above him now have beef with Vito? That is mad, though, because obviously that's how he got Clemenza and Tessio on his side, then. He's like, I've done you a favour, so... Yeah, true. It's the theme song. Yeah. Right? It is, yeah. My Okay, this is my corner. Oh, that was his birthday, his son's birthday present, wasn't it? Hmm. Does he not want to say hello? Or? Nope, he's going to walk away. Okay. Is this the first time that he's seeing her since she's had the miscarriage? I'm assuming it is. You remember the... Crime What's going on I here? Guy, I don't know. Uh, I thought he had actually died, but he's family, still alive. Is he like snitching? Is this like a hearing and like taking down? Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Uh, crime families, but from inside information. You kill people at the uh, at the behest of your superiors. Yeah, that's right, counselor. And the oh uh, shit! Oh, but he's on the committee. Did you ever get such an order directly from Michael Corleone? No, uh, I never talked to him. Shit, so this is quite big then, because yeah. obviously it's... This is there looking to take shit. them all down kind of thing. Yeah. The government. Is he worried about losing control? Maybe. Except for your dad and both your brothers. Look who's grown a moustache. <laughs> uh oh, oranges. You know what? That's actually true because he's, when he's, he got shot down, yeah. it's here. Yeah, his voice is. You can, yeah. can hear it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when he got shot in the street, he was buying oranges. Oranges, yeah. yeah. See, yeah. I vicini si lungoliarono coi padroni di casa di da bucani. E quando i padroni di casa venne a sapere, si ingazzavo, ci disse di resin. Si per me sta. Io voglio che vuoi sia padre qui, tu mi dici che io mi vuoi che stare qua. It's become like uh, everyone's asking him for favors, isn't it? Mi chiamo Vito Corleone. E non è che da me non viene, signor Comune. <laughs> and he's now going to face the wrath. Okay. I like the way he did that. He's a sweet talker. Yeah. It's so basic. Yeah. I really like Vito. <laughs> I really do. He's got a way with the words and how he does. He's a problem. He's a problem solver. Yeah. But he gives a shit as well. Oh, this guy's back. <laughs> but the door doesn't open. Ah, signora Colombo, può da stare, taga. Io vorrei portare i soldi come rasto. Oh, wow. Ma può da stare? The rent stays like before. Anzi, anzi, ci levo 
<laughs> I love that. He didn't even have to say anything. He was just that looking is. at him. Cinco squadra ce l'hai, va bene? Deci ce ne levo, don't be. Deci. Grazie. Oh my God, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> can't even get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so this is the um, the warehouse that they had in the first one. It's building up the business. Kind of looks like where he got it's shot. Where he got shot. Yeah. 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 Look at that. Three Tess friends. Yeah, Tessio, oh. uh, Clemenza, and Vito. Godfather is a term. Used by his friends, one of affection, one of respect. Damn, everyone's been brought in in this hearing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can proudly say that some of my very best friends are Italian Americans. Wink, wink. These hearings on the mountain are in no way whatsoever a slur upon the great Italian people because I can state from my own knowledge. This guy's like, what is he, who is he talking no, about? He, he, I think everyone's like, okay, he's been paid. The kid yeah. is like, everyone can tell. Is it true that in the year 1950, you devised the murder of the heads of the so-called five families in New York to assume and consolidate your nefarious power? It's a complete falsehood. Senator, my client would like to be state. I served my country faithfully and honorably in World War II. I have never been arrested or indicted for any crime whatsoever. That Chichi guys. I don't know why, why he just bled everything out. The committee will stand in recess until 10 a.m. Monday morning, at which time the committee will produce a witness who will corroborate the charges which were made against you today. I've got a feeling that witness isn't going to show. Well, they don't know who it is, right? They don't. They won't know who that witness is. Won't they? Tell it's Frank. Shot, you Yay! He's alive. <laughs> Frank's alive. Oh no! I said, "Yay, Frank's alive." I just realised. He's the one that's the witness. Yeah, he's the oh, witness. Oh, yeah. God, I'm so slow. Aunt Angeli is alive. How did they get their hands on him? Roth. He engineered it. God damn it. Frankie went to make a deal with the Rosado brothers and they uh, tried to kill him. And they blamed Michael. That's him. why. Yeah. It's the perfect way to turn him, right? Yeah. But they yeah, didn't yeah. plan on keeping him half alive. It's this is a pure coincidence. Oh yeah. Roth boy. He played this one beautifully. You can't say he played it beautifully. He made he took advantage of a situation which didn't go according to his plan initially because he wanted Frank dead. Okay, so Fred has come back now. Fredo, 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 what are we gonna do with you? Is he just heavily drunk? Either that or he doesn't know what to say. He hasn't got a lot to say, Mike. <laughs> he hasn't got a lot to say. <laughs> what do you say, though? Yeah, it was the reason why... I was kept pretty much in the dark. <laughs> what? What a shitty excuse. Look up intentionally, that's all I can tell you. Well, we already knew that. I didn't know it was going to be a hit, Mike. <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't know it was going to be a hit. This just makes you want to slap him. Johnny Ola bumped into me in Beverly Hills. He said that you, he said that you were being tough on the negotiations, but if they could get a little help and close the deal fast. A little help? They they shot at you. He's stupid. He's so stupid. I've always taken care of you, Fredo. Taking care of me? You're my kid brother, and you take care of me? It's true. You can't even take. You can't take care of himself. I'm your older brother, Mike, and I was stepped over. Can you imagine him as the dog? the way I wanted it. You're, he's, you're not, he's not smart enough to have that big of yeah. an ego. I'm smart and I want respect. <laughs> sure, buddy. <laughs> Bopping around in the chair like an idiot. The Senate lawyer, Quest Dad. He belongs to Roth. Damn. Oh, shit. Wow, uh, Roth is far more powerful than I thought he was. Oh, yeah. Thought some old guy half You're dead. To me now. Ooh. You're not a brother. You're not a friend. When you see our mother, 
I want to know a day in advance so I won't be there. It, he's cutting him out of and his I, life. And I blame him. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I don't want anything to happen to him while my mother's alive. <laughs> so, oh, so he still gets a bodyguard. He doesn't want anything to do with you, but he thinks you're too dumb and you might do something stupid, so he's giving you a bodyguard as well at the same time. I don't think that's what he meant. No, he meant someone might make a play, might make a go at him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm just once again pointing out just how that's... stupid Fredo is. Yeah. That's pretty clever. They dressed him up as an army person so no one would... Uh... Suspect. No one would suspect it. Hmm. Who's that? Who is that? Did you serve under Capo regime, Peter Clemenza, under Vito Corleone, also known as the Godfather? I, uh, I never knew no Godfather. Oh my God. Who is that guy? Yeah. Were you at any time a member of a crime organization headed by Michael Corleone? I was in the olive oil business with his father. Wow, he's proper shot on the FBI. What? He's scared that Michael's going to do something to him, but we just need to know who that yeah, guy is. Who's that guy that's with him? Yeah, because yeah. He, the way he looked at him. Look, the FBI guys, they promised me a deal. So I, so I made up a lot of stuff about Michael Corleone. Oh my, do you know how bad this makes the FBI look? His name is Vincenzo Pinta. Dad? His dad. Brother. He is, I believe, his brother. Mm. Are you saying he knows nothing about these matters? To my knowledge, nothing. I'm gonna find out what the hell happened here. All right, this committee is now adjourned. Yeah, this proves committees oh, yeah. are yeah. useless. This is all proves that commit all committees are useless. So he's obviously scared of his of his. Yeah, he's scared yeah. that Michael's gonna do something to his brother. Yeah. Or maybe how his own brother looks at him. Like when when why would you become a snitch or a grass? Or could be yeah. Michael, I'm not going back to Nevada. I brought the children to say goodbye to you. Oh, damn. You say you love me, and then you talk about allowing me to leave. I don't want to hear about it. And these I don't want to hear about it. Fighting. I don't want to hear about it. I mean, this is going to happen. Eventually, right? Yeah. Once again, Pacino's got some lungs. You see that look in his eyes, like when he does it now, you, you can see it's still the same. At this moment, I feel no love for you at all. Ooh. Is he going to let her go, though? What? He's going to can't keep a prisoner? No, no, but like... In time, you feel differently. Oh my god, it's such a I messed up this. sentence. I doing this, yeah. I know you blame me for losing the baby. I'll change. I've learned that I have the strength to change. Do we believe him? I don't know. I was going to say, is that, is that something you can do? It wasn't a miscarriage. Oh. It was an abortion. Oh, my God. Is oh. that something you... Just like our marriage is an abortion. Something that's unholy and evil. Oh, my God. I didn't want your son, Michael. Oh, my God. This is like... she, she confirmed it was a boy as well. It was an abortion, Michael. It was a son, a son, and I had it killed because this must all end. Wait, do you know how effed up this is? I know, I know. I knew Look it at his face. He wants to strangle her. No way, Michael. No way you could ever forgive me. Not with this Sicilian thing that's been going on for 2,000 years. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Well, he's not letting her go now. You won't take my children! You're my children. Jesus Christ. So, Tom, obviously, he must have known. No, I, I don't... Would he? No, I don't think Tom knew. Is this like a flute version of the theme song? No, it's not. Yeah. It's still beautiful. Oh. Isn't this the um, the house where Michael stayed when he came to Sicily? Mm, I think so. Because I remember that, that square little mm. fountain. Unless that's something most people have. 
<laughs> so cute. So they're basically making the olive oil here and then distributing it back in America, basically, which is why they're in the olive oil business. I think this is it. This is the house that he ran away from. Yeah, the, that Don, I forgot his name already. Chicho. Hmm. He's a proper old man now. He's not going to remember, remember, is he? No. Oh, no. Oh, damn. Oh, oh my God. Shit, man, he butchered him. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, right, that's how... Yeah, that is the guy. Because remember, he was he was um, limping. In yeah. the, he, he couldn't stand properly. That's how he got the limp. Oh, man, he just cut him from... Ugh. Oh, no. No. Well, if Fredo's here, Michael won't be. Connie's come back. Connie finally. cameo. Yeah, it feels like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Jesus, the lighting is amazing. I was going to say, all the houses they've had, there's like a low light. It's like they don't mm. like natural daylight. Oh, my God. I like to stay close to my home now, if it's all right. That's an interesting change. Is Kay coming? No. Wow, relationship fully broken. Oh, my God, I hated you for so many years. You were just being strong for all of us the way Papa was. And I forgive you. I forgive you for being strong? Can't you forgive Fredo? I want to take care of you now. It's mad how at the beginning of this she was just like, I just want to get married, I want to go, I don't want anything here, I just want the money. And now she's done a full 180 and come back to be by his side. It could be because she's just, her mum just died, she wants to be close. It could be because of that. Like, could be. Oh, wow. I didn't think she could do that, as in convince him to come back in. Okay, I didn't think he'd be able to forgive him. Our friend and business partner, Hyman Roth, is in the news. His passport's been invalidated, except for a return to the United States. He landed in Buenos Aires yesterday. He offered a gift of a million dollars if they let him live there. Please tell me they said no. <laughs> they turned him down. <laughs> yeah. He's in the Panama. Panama won't take him. What? Are they like er is he slowly being They're cornered? They're just shunning him. Yeah. yeah. Been dying of the same heart attack for 20 years. <laughs> what a sentence. The plane goes to Miami. All right. That's where I want it met. But there's no way we can get to it. If anything in this life is certain, if history's taught us anything, Says you can kill anyone. God damn. How is he going to get to him, though? I yeah, no, he'll, be, like... he'll be fully. Yeah. Protected. Now, Roth and the Rosados are on the run. Are they worth it? And are they strong enough? I mean, you've won. Do you want to wipe everybody out? I don't feel I have to wipe everybody out, Tom. Just my enemies. That's all. Pretty much everyone. <laughs> it's everyone he thinks about. You're going to come along with me in these things I have to do, or what? I've always been loyal to you. I mean, what is this? Allora, tu stai. Si, io stai. Damn, I didn't think he'd ever question Tom. Um, yeah. He already, know he already knows he's loyal. He, he tests him quite a bit, doesn't he? Yeah. Frankie! What do I do now? You wait, right? Corleone family was like the Roman Empire. It was once. Hmm. When a plot against the Emperor failed, plotters were always given a chance to let the families keep their fortunes. Yeah, but only the rich guys, Tom. The little <laughs> guys, they got knocked off, and all their estates went to the Emperor. Is that? Unless they went home and they uh, killed themselves, then nothing happened. A way to tell Frank that... And the families, 
he's, taken care of, though. I think he's indirectly trying to tell him something here. They, uh, they went home and sat in a hot bath, opened up their veins, Ooh. and bled to death. Don't worry about anything, Frankie Five Angels. Thanks, Tom. Thanks. Is that? That is, if if he's telling him to kill himself, that's yeah, a really and, and we'll look genius. after your family. Yeah, that's that's a really genius but messed up way to say it too. Okay. Is a messed up situation though, if you think about it. Like, it's so it's, just... it's so messed up. This all started when he forced you to get into the car, Kay. Oh, please, kiss me once. Jesus. His it's facial just ex- the, the look, he just yeah, his expression. He it just looks the way he kill. commands his children, yeah. Not even his children, anyone he looks at is so intimidating. Death. That's death walking. <laughs> oh my god. That is the <laughs> second time she has had that door shut on her looking into a room. Oh my god. That is stone cold. I suppose there's a way to tell us that he's. That. Just done with it. That tire yeah. severed. Yeah. Yeah. We're going fishing. No, Michael wants to take him to Reno now. Damn, doesn't even get to go fishing. I'm in Roth. Hey, Frankie, come on out. Let's play some hearts. You think we know what's happened here? Yeah. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, we knew yeah. Frankie was going to do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. That's mad they got to Ross, though. He said difficult, not impossible. Yeah, true. Huh? <laughs> he just killed Fredo off as well. I thought, I thought that was Connie screaming <laughs> as a seagull. Michael has fully just. I don't know. I don't know, man. Connie, you sure you want to be staying there? Everybody, come on, pay attention. <laughs> come here. Let's go for a call. Hey, Sonny. Talk to each other. Sit down. Hey, Mr. Einstein. She's what <laughs> What's this, like the height of the family? Hey, Sally, get in here. Could be. Hey, what is that, Rob? Yeah, yeah, all right, it's good. <laughs> yeah. When everyone was okay with each other, everyone's alive. Yeah. <laughs> Michael's actually it's smiling. Think, uh, it's mad to think Michael killed three people in that room tessio carlo and well he didn't kill him but obviously he gave I know, the order I know to you mean. I know what you mean. kill him yeah Honey, come on, we don't have to talk about the war hey b you talk to carlo right damn sonny why don't you just quit college and go to go to join the army you might do I that oh, 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 oh. oh this is when he told them i mean pop had to pull a lot of strings to get your deferment i didn't ask for I didn't ask for a deferment, I didn't want it. Oh, oh, whoa! Or she'll call him a tree. <laughs> Go and show him the tree? What the fuck kind of... I just said, what the hell is... <laughs> I want to see this tree now. I want to see this tree. I'm, ass- I'm assuming... No, it's another it's way of saying get out of the room. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, it's hard on his birthday. Yes, well, Mike. Congratulations. That's right, <laughs> Fredo. That was the one time that Fredo actually was right to shake his hand and say congratulations. Well done, Fredo. Mike, you gotta understand that uh, your father has plans for you. Now, many times, he and I have talked about your future. 
Maybe you want to involve Michael in those conversations? Well, I have my own plans for my future. Suppose you go to college, you get stupid. You're really stupid. <laughs> I miss study sometimes. This is the wildest shit. Look, look, fast forward. The table by himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a flashback to... Technically, you've only got Connie, but obviously at this moment in time, you're all alone. Mm. When she finds out that Michael ordered it, she'll hate him. She'll go as well, yeah. No, they've aged him. Right? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. I reckon that will that decision will be tough for him. Mm. And that's the end of the movie. Um, thoughts? It was fucking epic. Yeah, it was amazing. It's a it's it's a masterpiece. It goes and it spans so many time periods. And I think, do you know what? I think it worked for this movie that they they chopped backwards and forwards between Michael and obviously his dad and the, the decisions that his dad made and obviously the decisions that Michael's then obviously gone and took. Um, but it was good to transition between the two. Hmm. I think overall this is a movie about the rise and fall of certain people. Like we saw yeah. the rise of uh, Vito Andalini as obviously Vito Corleone. Yeah. And I don't know whether we saw Michael's rise in this or, or, or had he like already bit... risen and it was just unraveling. By the end, it was unraveled. He's yeah. just sitting I by think... himself and he looks, I mean, I, I said, old. it looks old, depressed. He looks like he's ha he has to constantly calculate which means he has to constantly not trust the people around him, which is a messed up way to live. Yeah, I think... I mean, obviously, there's a part of him that probably never thought he'd end up killing one of his own family members. This is the only this is the only person that he's actually killed or put the order out. But it makes sense now what he said to Al when he was like, I don't want him hurt. Till I don't want him. I don't want anything to happen to him while my mother's alive. And as soon as she died, oh, I didn't even. I, don't know I didn't I, even. I didn't even think of that. That's, that's brilliant. Within, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. So he knew that he wanted to do something. Obviously, whether it's so he was he always wanted, he was always going to do it then. Yeah, but it, but it's clever because when his dad was alive, he wouldn't move against Carlo. And then obviously, when he died, that's when he did it. And Connie came in. She was like, he wouldn't have. He would have never done this if dad was alive and he waited till his mum died then mm. killed fredo but i reckon that was the hardest decision that he had to make even though he betrayed him and all of that stuff he probably never thought someone like fredo Is... would be the one to betray him but if we if we if he made that decision ages ago why would it be the hardest decision he he had to make no, no, no. What I mean is that he probably never thought that it would have been Fredo. So when it, when he found out that it was actually Fredo, because you remember we're in there when they're in the club, and, and he's, he's like, like, "Oh, yeah, Johnny, show me the place." Yeah, oh, yeah. show me the place. And yeah. then he, the way he just kind of like broke down, put his hands in front of his face, like you, like of all the people, like you couldn't. He didn't even do. He like, just it, it was a it was a stare, like yeah, like oh my god, kind of thing. And he, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he knew probably from then that he wanted to do something. But he probably thought it was one of his gods, like Rocco or Al or someone else in the family that's, you know, Frankie. But like, so it, could, it could have been anyone. Mm. But it, 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 I mean, you can't get closer than Fredo. But yeah, he ended up killing. He ended up killing him. Um, Never killing everyone. He just went on a spree. This movie, Michael went on a spree. Um, well, he didn't. I think. I think he went on a spree in the first one. This one, he, he, in theory, he only really killed Fredo and uh, Hyman. Um, they told, obviously, yes, he indirectly, Tom indirectly told Frankie to kill himself. Yeah. That would look after your family. Yeah. But the rest, the rest of it, but it, this, you're right, I think when you said it in there, it was like, he was, play, he was fighting against someone who was more powerful and slightly wiser at the game than he was. 
Um, the only issue with that is who you mean, Hyman? Hyman, yeah. The only issue is that Hyman had like, like time was ticking. If it wasn't, if yeah. that part, of, if that bit of him having a very short time to live wasn't in the story, I'm sure he would have Michael would have been gone ages ago, kind of thing. That restricted Hyman a lot. Yeah. The way the movie the portrays thing... it is like he had loads of people in his pocket. He was rich as f. Um, he was like uh, wealthy in terms of the people he knew around him. Um, yeah. He had One loads of I fingers think... and loads of pies, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. He knew people. One thing I don't get, and I don't know what came first, was I may have missed it. But it was why Hyman Roth was trying to kill Michael. Now, was it because he killed Mo Green first, or was it the way the way Michael put it was that he sensed a threat in Michael? Fine. Okay. He yeah. said. He yeah. said. Michael yeah. said. I mean, this might be just Michael's opinion and not a yeah. fact of why Hyman wanted to kill him. This is just Michael's yeah. opinion. Michael's opinion was he treats me like I'm his son, but in reality, yeah. he thinks I'm a threat and therefore yeah. he wants me he wants to take me off the board and that's when he was board. talking yeah 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 um which yeah. makes sense makes perfect sense yeah. uh but then like through a series of events it just went correct like uh, I forgot the name of the guy now the guy he sent to kill I don't think we ever got his name we Did just we... call him the men in black I know because he never really introduced him like okay. even when Fredo came in the room, he was just like. But yeah, that um, that, that went that went pear shaped. Um, yeah. But the 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 the, like, the, uh, the Robert De Niro stuff. I love the Vito story. That that was a yeah. lovely story. The rise of uh, Vito Corleone, and um, he was like the people's don. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Yeah. What not but what is Michael it, is, not what like Well the thing is he from the way they depict it, it's that it looks like he only ever killed I mean, okay, only what they show us, he only ever killed two people. So the 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 black hand and obviously the guy that killed his mother. That's fine. For and uh, every, which guy that killed his mother? Fenucci and uh the guy in uh, Sicily, the olive the Oh, that Corleone. guy. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Right, yeah. But everybody else was kind of. Yeah, while he was he, the he people. He built it up. Um, he built up a series yeah. of favors. He'd probably done something questionable, questionable, where those people that you ask about him yeah. from other people, they'd be like, oh, you know, you don't you want to stay. You want to keep your distance or, or don't mess with him. And then the word would yeah. carry kind of thing and he'd do more favors. And it just built up, built up to a point where he became that guy but there must be a reason why he decided to take that i know that um don cheat not don cheat don cheat yeah yeah no um black hand Fenucci. Fenucci, yeah there must have been a there, he there must have been a reason why he decided to take him out. i know he was evil to other people and he was he kept saying i need to wet my beak i need mm. to wet my beak but he just he, made that decision really he would have, he, he Otherwise, tried. he would have had these guys. He would have had these guys yeah. under, the, under his thumb kind of thing. But I'd also love how they inadvertently show us how Clemenza and Tessio came into the mm. fold as well. Because Clemenza was just some guy that threw him a bag in the middle of the night and then they obviously the rug thing. Stole the the rug. rug thing was brilliant. <laughs> that, was, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. <laughs> it was like, that's my friend's home. This, um, this, guy, this guy didn't even leave me a key. Yeah. Um, I, really, I really love the veto part of it. Um, the Michael part of it, him and Kay. It, it was dark. It was yeah, dark, the, really it, dark. Whole, that was such a mistake. All of Michael's stuff was super, yeah. super dark. Yeah. Um, and yeah, even Kay. Like the only person that's technically with him is Connie and. And Michael even then, he, even then, she won't be with him for long. It's ever since ever since he said, like, re like replied, "I do to do you renounce Satan." He's just become Satan. He's just <laughs> yeah. just gone on a nosedive and. Um, yeah, this was, I, I, this was I, I, very depressing for in terms of Michael's storyline. It's yeah, it's the ling, live long enough 
and you kind of see it unravel. You see yeah. your work unravel, basically. Yeah. Um, it's like the like inversely proportionate to like if you want that power success. Yeah. It, the way he's getting it, it's like yeah. inversely proportional to happiness. It'll just. It's yeah. kind of almost like it's quite interesting because it's kind of chronologically, you would have thought that they would have put veto stuff in Godfather One and kind of shown that, and then Godfather Two Part Two would have been. Um, Michael's rise mm. but actually they show you his the rise of Michael first and then they mix it in mm. with Vito's they show the, show the rise of, a, they, they, I don't think that's the rise of Michael I think that's like it, peak Michael that's where, like his yeah. when his like the son's communion you mean that one yeah. the son is a yeah, yeah, yeah. that's like yeah. peak Michael and then we see like the rise of Vito and then we keep on seeing the rise of Vito and then we like at the same yeah. time yeah. see yeah. Michael do that it's yeah, a yeah, beautiful yeah. way they've done they've done the, yeah, the mix yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, everything was amazing about this. The, um, the acting, um, the writing. Some, the some. A lot of stuff is quotable in this movie. Um, oh yeah, yeah. The uh, keep your friends close and enemies close. That's a very famous quote yeah. that we have all heard. Um, um, the but, some of the metaphors, him shutting the door on K, like that would happen in the first movie. That was so cold was the so way he did that. He, I love, see, the thing is, I love, one thing I love about Al Pacino is the expressions that his face tells you everything you need to know, but he doesn't say a word. He's literally just like... Do you know the beat of this? Because we don't get it in other other Al Pacino movies, or I don't remember it being in Scent of Woman. For large parts, he's quite expressionless, but you can feel what he's trying to yeah. convey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even the way he, when Connie was talking to him and he just liked how he was looking at the kids. Yeah, he like, didn't say, okay, get up and leave. He just looked at them and they yeah. were just like... Yeah, it was crazy. But, um, the music, obviously, the theme the theme tune is just obviously iconic. So brilliant. it's just going to be stuck in my head. Um, but all in all, For a movie that is three hours long. Yeah. It, it, didn't it, feel like three, it doesn't feel like three no, hours. No. Three this and is, half this hours, is the yeah. longest movie we've done. Yeah, like, yeah. It, it is the longest movie we've done. Yeah. But you're constantly like... Where you think it's going to drop off, they'll change the mood and go yeah. back to Vito, or they'll change the mood and go back. That, that was the beauty of it. Um, Messed up about just Frank. Trying to see. I thought he'd make it Frank, through, but obviously not. Yeah. This, yeah. Yeah. I mean, is Michael now at the top of, even though this is the. For him personally, it's kind of going down easy now. What's the, the point? There's no one, the top of what? There's no one else. Yeah, that's true. You can only that say you're true. the top of something if there are people below you. He's, there's no one. He's just he just killed off everyone. What the hell's going on? Ah, uh, it's kind of messed up. But um, I guess that's what that's what they're trying to portray. That's what happens when you try and play the game like Michael played it, which is really messed up. All in all, though, amazing movie. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. What did you think of the movie and our reaction to it? But other than that, please like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.